sa nimbola nimbola vinaka na veo kadi oni semati ku maina ka vinaka ni kua oni taka ni oni bulo bulo vinaka tiko na bulo da vanga oni semati ku mekina na ka vinaka ni kua oni taka ni oni bulo bulo vinaka tiko karong vinaka tiko yani na bia oliva oliva ni beta lano na talano with doctor t Eh, ok lah ni rakyat batam batam cik ngoh mai viti kena vivo nua mai ni Selandi berkata lagi kan mai Australia yang dah maru tak kena kau ni kuat ni rau ni dah mai betal lah nua kerana ni dah mai visi mati yang naik batam batam go. Tengah lori mana nak itu mana liba liba so nunggu nanti wakai liba tu kena kuma marau. Mori de saya mukir tu kena beka kir si saya ngawa. Ya, okay. Jangan nak kena iru selangko. Okay. Iya, nimbula, nimbula. Kerana dia ni tu pun macam apa yang di rumah dia ucuk sesen. Iya. Okay. Oh, yang tu nu. Okay. People are watching. Binak. Hei, sa. Noaie, Mauri. Bikin tu nama kandung merotuma. Binak, binak balik untuk bule binak Marietta Ringamoto. Nampun orang ni saya mesti kumikir nama North Shore. Okay, so Merlin Thomas, you can hear me. Okay, so thumbs up. Okay, just making sure. Okay, nak. Okay, so bukan boleh bikin ni tolong ke Sarah. Enam orang ni saya mesti kumai. Enak kami lupa. Iyo. Happy Fijian Language Week, everyone. Ah, di tak ada di. Di maru tak ada tiko nama dia. Di maru tak ini bos bawa ke Viti. Ano po nato pang ano niya mati ko makina kito sa kito pa kiki mni kaya tiko ang ko sa oti na tini e na tini kapito na binite Hawaii may nisulan di sa oti na diwa e na tini kapito na binite may viti sa oti na walu e na tini kapito na binite tau do nita what's your time in Sydney tau oti na vito Oh, cina vitu, reza esa. Ada maru tak kan? Kau bina kan istiqomah ni kuat. Ni saya matu abur-abura. Enak kau bina kan ni kuat. Saya matu kau ni kuat. Nau boleh ku ke? Napa wasa pasifik kami Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, kau binti. Boleh bina kan Dr Karen Jacobs from England. Boleh bina kan? So I know it's early in the morning in England. So yay! So our folks in England. Uh, also joining in, Vinaka Vakan Levu, Nasia Matikumai. Iyo, Marotek Sar na Madongo, ni Dakatiko na Vitalanoa, na Singa Moniti, Daka na Vitalanoa, member Leti Rupeni Matakimbao, and Anona Dakavatiko Kwan, na Prokaramuni, na Katalao, the Fijian program, eh, of Fiji One, Kirubitan Lokin Kirupin Matakimbao, to city. Zakat nalanga ser, laku mikir nanti nak turang ni berata. Enam nona melanga ser, langa toko rona ser, ser membeliti seru, kena ser membeliti namosi. Tau cawan, 
Uh, it was a special <laughs> song for Serua, uh, a very beautiful song. But I think the song from Kandavu will still sound better. But well, never mind. Well, well, that's well, another well, conversation. Well. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's such a beautiful song. It moves my heart. Uh, it's uh, it's it's written and sung from the heart. And it was really lovely to uh, have uh, him join us. Eh? And um, so Nikua, Katona was a Chukova Viti, Bagabalang, because I know there's uh, a lot of uh, uh, members of the audience who uh, can speak uh, 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 Fijian, but also there's some English speaking uh, members of the audience. So we'll try our best to uh, blend both worlds. Why not? Yeah, blend both worlds and uh, share our amazing stories and the journey that we've had over the years. And what a wonderful way to celebrate the Fijian Language Week 2021, to have these beautiful ladies here. There's uh, others who are not able to join us, but they're actually listening uh, as well. And so we would like to acknowledge them as well. Eh? So at this time, uh, we would love to um, invite. So today the spotlight is on these ladies. Yeah? So I will shift. Uh, the spotlight and uh, give it to these beautiful ladies and I will be the one asking the questions and they will be the one answering. Yeah, that's, I do, I have the best part. So I will ask uh, the questions. <laughs> so um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll um, uh, start on my left here, uh, looking at the screen. So we'll start with uh, Andy Macareta and then we'll go down to Tauchawana and then across yeah, yeah. to Tauluisa Tau Luisa, Kai Luisa, Tau Donita. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just to introduce yourself and tell us your connections to Fiji. Yo. Uh, Nisa Bulavanaka, uh, Nayadangu, or Maguro, uh, Aumarama uh, Niaotearoa, uh, Aumbaki Va Sangaburuka Dua, um, Aumakatiko Tikoe, um, Tiao Mutu. Uh, um, I'm sorry to my Māori side as well, uh, to, to, to mihi to everyone that is joining us tonight, from Aotearoa to Viti to Australia to uh, the UK over to Hawaii. Um, my name is Maguro, and I'm glad to be with you all tonight. So, we are going to talk about Makareta, and we are going to talk about Tauchawana, Tineseta. We are going to talk about Tauchawana, and we are going to talk about Tauchawana. Anuan Vaturango Serua, uh, some of the people who are in Kalandi, uh, also in Italy, Tunga in a Korovaturango, Nasela in Nuku Tailevu. Yeah, Pus Tailevu. Seven night, Nakavalev to the center, uh, May Tailevu, Tonomar Serani Kandavu, uh, Kailu, Lusa, Lisa. Mulvinaka, Vacnuni Vinakni, Mada Univos Vacuviti. My name is Luisa Torra, I'm Ramani Nangaloto Yawi Kandavo, Vasui Lawaki, Nakasilek Kandavo. Mm. Um, the current uh, Macmillan Brown artist in residence been here since August. And please excuse me, I'll be covering my head because I haven't cut my hair since July. And it's cold. <laughs> Lockdown problems, what's such you? And uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to the program. Uh, across the Tasman Sea, uh, over to uh, the beautiful uh, Sydney, Australia. Uh, everyone, my name is Danita. Uh, I'm actually Kai Inglanzi and Vasu Raiwanganadronga. And my mother is Vasu Namulumulo in Nawaka. Uh, and I reside here on the lands of the Wallamedigal in Sydney, Australia. 
Fernando Taudonita, and uh, we uh, also have our other sister in Brisbane, um, Dalcy Stewart, who's also joining us uh, uh, online. We like a level Dalcy for all the amazing work that you do behind the scene, uh, especially with our website and our uh, social media work and everything like that. And yeah. also with our library, and uh, she's what we call the brain, eh, Lisa? <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, Vinakova Levu Dalsi, I think you are logging in from Brisbane today, uh, Vinaka, for all that you do. Um, and also, in terms of uh, uh, the other, uh, there's so many other sisters that also joined us uh, or started the project with us, acknowledging uh, Emma Tavola, uh, who's also uh, based in uh, Auckland. Um, in uh, New Zealand. Uh, also, uh, Salote Tawale uh, also have joined us too uh, in Australia. And also, Julia uh, Magel Gray, our sister from Papua New Guinea, who've uh, uh, been joining us uh, on this journey of research. Um, so, today is uh, going to be a lot of talent. No, I know. And in Dike, Keto Nawase Chukayan is on a Tukutuku, Nibeka Keto Kunea, and Anito Vadindike, Listal and Ambaki, Ronon Dolu, Tinikalima. Yeah, Melatiku Takana Neto Vitalan and Akamukua. If there are questions from uh, uh, those in the audience, you're most welcome to. Um, uh, type your question on uh, the comment uh, section of the live. Uh, I'll be reading uh, any comments or anything or questions that you want to ask to any of us. Uh, this is the, the, the chance yeah, for you to do so. So I'm just so excited uh, that we are able to be together uh, as a collective on my platform uh mm -hmm. and uh you know to have this talent noah uh we've always met you know face to face you know we come to new zealand mm -hmm. to australia to fiji we've done our travels but because of covid uh it has brought us uh digitally like this mm -hmm. so i will pass it over now to margaret um Macareta, if you would be able just to share a little bit about uh, uh just the background of the collective um and maybe highlight um, some of the exhibitions that we've done um, as a team. Nakamaki. Um, yeah, well, it's been six years <laughs> uh, or so, or was it more Lulu? Yeah. Uh, the first show was in 2015, but we came yeah. together the year before. The year before. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I think um, when, we, when we first met up was, uh, I think, in Melbourne. Um, and at that time, uh, Emma Tavola and um, and Lulu had uh, had a conversation um, prior to that, and um, that's where I met Danita. And um, I think that's where my um, first involvement with with the project started to formulate. And uh, from there, um, I think the biggest part of of wanting to take on a research project like this was understanding um, that there was an inherent need to um, learn more, not just about myself, mm. but also about cultural expression. And being both Māori and with Fijian uh, whakapapa, um, uh, cultural identity, such as tattooing, such as moko, uh, is very important very important to, to the way that we express um, who we are. Mm -hmm. And so when I came across this particular project was asked to be part of it, um, I jumped at the charts, um, primarily because of my, one, the inquiry, but also uh, knowing that, you know, there was a very, um, there was a big picture. There was a bigger picture than just what was in, in front of me because didn't know much, didn't know much at all. Um, but when I um, was asked, when we were asked to do our first exhibition at St. Paul's Gallery, um, which is uh, what I think uh, is a spin off from where Lulu is at at the moment with Christchurch. So, you know, even six years after, mm -hmm. these relations still, still endure. Yeah. Um, that particular exhibition was part of the PA, PAA conference in, um, in Auckland at that time. And um, that was an opportunity to create work 
and um, when we say create work but investigate through our um, connections back to Fiji um, to our collections in Fiji uh, to our research material available to us but as artists able to explore um, different ways in which our research would be mani uh, would, would manifest and so for me that particular exhibition um, threw a lot of challenges but I loved it um, and decided to do do a an installation work where I looked at um, the matakao in Fiji collections but every collection that we've been part of has had a strong link to research and when we talk about research we talk about uh, connected back to community, um, connecting into our, our collections, our artifacts, our cultural um, material. Uh, also, um, talanoa mm -hmm. and, and also being able, not just being able to gather the information ourselves, but share it. Mm. And so it's been a big part of, of how we've been able to progress this particular collective and, and, and really from the get-go earlier on uh you know we we said we had already had a conversation and we quite when we set the foundation quite clearly that what we find as a collective was never for us only and so there was always um a, a, a point of sharing the material for others to see and maybe they see themselves and what what we have to share the information that we've collected along the way um, and so 2015 was St. Paul's, we were then asked to go uh, back to Fiji Museum in 2017, uh, called the Vengia Project. And uh, for me, uh, that was quite a, a poignant exhibition. Um, it brought it back and reconnected a, a lot of my um, family ties to Suva. Um, my, my last name is, is not uh, a common name, um, not quite Fijian either, uh, but there were a few people that remembered my family. And, um, and so for me, that was a really beautiful thing. I was, we were also ma uh, matched up with various artists. So Tarisi had um, ensured that we connected up with our local artists um, that could potentially work with us in, in exchange. So I worked with uh, Katerina, Nesu Mai, um, who was a lapita pop maker, uh, worked in Ele, and we did a series of, uh, uh, throughout the week, a series of exchanges and created a, a, an installation work through uh, making little uh, clay beads, um, in which I learned quite a lot. And I think all of us went through a different journey with every everyone that we were matched up, but it really opened my eyes uh, and I was very grateful for Suva Museum who let us do a pit firing on the, on the site um, and there was something that they don't do uh, and in that exchange she, she taught me a lot about um, she taught me a lot about the materials that we used to secure or, or, or seal in the lapita pot so we Fiji Museum is on an old site it's a heritage site and so the trees there are old. And so she took me uh, on a, on a um, walk and we found a really beautiful dakua tree. And um, we managed to get the resin. And one of the most profound things that, um, that I remember from going there was everyone was just looking at <laughs> why we were tapping on this tree <laughs> to get the resin. And I think the maintenance and the grounds were all just like, and, and she was like, you know, she goes, she, and she, it was really interesting. She was like, shh, you know, not, not everyone understands how these, how to work this. And I was like, what do you mean? They don't, like, no, everyone understands that this is very, very, um, what did she say? Rare. And, <clears throat> and it wasn't until then I realized, man, you know, our ancestors, they had everything for everything, you know? And when I say that, there's no need to go to the hardware shop to get the varnish when we can just, if we understood what we were looking at and looking for, um, we, would, we would know how to work it. 
again. And so this particular resin uh, was the waterproofing the seal around uh, once we once we fired the clay and sealed it and that would become the uh, drinking vessel mm. for our people yeah so that was then um, so that was 2017 and it was beautiful the opening was magical the work that Lulu worked with uh, the team there um, yeah it was pretty magic and that night it was pretty stormy eh, team? yeah <laughs> it was brilliant I love that comment that you made. Uh, what is it called, Kaitarisi? You said when when it rains, when you have an event. Yeah, when it's raining, yeah, we we always call it na na songo langi langi, songo langi, yeah, langi langi and langi in uh, our dialect uh, in Kandavu is the rain, yeah, rain. but uh, langi langi uh -huh. together is something that is uh, amazing or something blessed or yeah, that was just awesome. That was lovely. Yeah. yeah, and it was magical. And I think that um, I think everyone that was there that night would have seen it and felt that. Um, and to see, uh, you know, the Masi being made for us and, mm. see, you know, welcome home moving gear project. And that, <laughs> that, yeah, that was really beautiful and so very proud and privileged mm. to be part of it. That's when I knew I was on, a, you know, uh, there were signs along the way, but, you know, when you, have that um, acknowledgement uh, from the community. You don't take that lightly, and so I felt really, really um, privileged to be to see that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then we had na um, the names held in our mouths at Turu. And that was a pretty back to big year for the Vengia project because it was two shows in one year. And I'll let Danita talk about um, Ramadina. Um, which was a pretty, mu pretty much a groundbreaking show uh, in Australia. Um, but uh, Names Held in Our Mouths was an another opportunity for us to come together. So if you think about 2017, our last show, um, after that was the trip to Kia. So mm. there was this, all this gathering still happening. And then we were able to come together after two years mm. and, and create work. And by that time, Julia... Nakavaka Levu Julia for, mm. for, for your contribution to, mm. to this um, and marking our women. Um, mm. By that time, so when we started 2015, uh, 2015 15, none of us were marked with any Melanesian marks. Dulcie was. Dulcie was, yeah. So Dulcie had done it that year, eh? Yeah. yeah. Done it that year. And then fast forward to 20. 2019, yeah, there was yeah. a number, number, of, and so started making visual traction mm -hmm. um, as we started understanding more about it, mm -hmm. and and I'm just talking about within the group, and I know that there's been a lot of work uh, done with a lot of our beautiful um, Fijian women in the community with Julia, um, mm -hmm. so. That particular show was a was an opportunity to expand and paint again. I was in a happy space painting again, <laughs> uh, re-looking at the matakao, um, re-looking at uh, and reconnecting with everyone. I think when I saw Joanna's work, man, <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> because I've never seen a talanoa bowl woven. You know, it's, it's, that, it's that whole transition of material and expression. And then the masi come from, oh, man, it was great. And um, so proud of the marks, you know, and that's why we, they were up, blowing up so that we could show that and express that um, pride. Mm -hmm. And then and then we had uh, Mara Medina and we were fortunate enough to, to have uh, Danita and Dulce lead a major exhibition in Campbelltown and um, and so we picked ourselves up and went over to support and and they were able to look after us and for, for the first time I think that was like man Sydney you know how to scale it up <laughs> <laughs> you know in a major show in a major when I say major all galleries um, but even when we started that particular project uh, we had all these wonderful ideas, and that's where we had um, Yaz come on board and Salote. Um, 
we're also help leading that space. And even in the fact that we could have taken out all the galleries, we were very mindful of, of the, um, the First Peoples, the community, um, and they were a weaving group. And I remember that. And I remember when we were given our Welcome to Country um, talk, and I don't know if you remember, Danita, but I do remember them um, being very uh, excited that we were, yeah, we were able to come and, and present this particular research. They did not, not quite understand what it was all about, but they knew it was so important given the cultural history of um, the Indigenous peoples of Australia and re what reclamation looks like for Indigenous people. So mm -hmm. they were really interested about these women mm -hmm. uh, coming in. And I remember us talking quite distinctly about making sure that they were at the front. Yeah. That they were at the front gallery and yeah. making sure that they were the first first to be seen before before we came away so why i mention that is that what i know uh truthfully is that we do the we do the best that we can and how we uh, and and do it the way we know how and um and we have a really wonderful relationship i think as a collective Mm -hmm. um, and also very conscientious about where we are together and conscientious about, um, you know, ensuring that the information that we have is shared so that our families, uh, they may not be connected to Fiji, um, the diaspora, those connections may be um, brought closer. And they can find themselves in some of the research that we've we've been given. But you know, I just want to quickly mention, just quickly, uh, when we went to the PAA in UK, um, and Dulcy joined me, and we presented the Vengia project. And that was at the time of uh, Fiji Art Life in the Pacific, a major exhibition uh, that Karen uh, Jacobs is part of, um, and the team and. I remember seeing the power, the power of our artifacts, our taonga, our treasures. And I remember the matakao uh, standing there. I remember seeing um, the wealth of knowledge. Uh, and when I say knowledge, material knowledge, how the, uh, some of the liquor, the masi. Um, I mean, if you could, Imagine what the Aladdin's um, cave would be. That would be <laughs> similar to that for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was major. And from there, you know, even sharing um, with Karen and the team there who, who are investing in it with, with another approach, another lens, um, it, was, it was great to be able to have those opportunities. So when I say sharing, it means on all levels, our community, our babies, mm our mums, our sisters, mm. diaspora, the, the ones that know a lot or who think that know a lot, you know, everyone <laughs> has, has, has access to, to what we have. And that's why Dulce and we have, um, have mm. the Vengia Project website. And mm. we have moments like this to be able to mm. tell them more and keep, keep ourselves connected. So um, mm. anyway, that might have been a long story, but... <laughs> But, I, uh, but I'm enjoying the journey and I know that um, this particular part of uh, this particular project is um, infinite. It's infinite because it, there's so much richness and so much more to learn and find out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's me. Naka. Naka Maggie. Naka Naka. Naka Valevo Makareta. Rong Rong Vinaka Namu Vamadala. Yeah, and especially you know for your sharing of your Tangata Fenua uh, connection as well to Aotearoa. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just wonderful to see our cultural connections, yeah, all, all of us personally, to our own heritage and then bringing it forward uh, when it comes to the research. Eh? So now we will go over to uh, the beautiful island of Serua. Mm -hmm. uh, over to uh, Mrs. Chowana Monolangi. Uh, Tao, if you 
uh, would be able just to share with us uh, um, the the background of Vengia. Maybe some uh, people in the audience may be not sure what what is Vengia. Mm. Museum, and a library, and archives, and a Wurubur to Zoko. Wangarika the Manitu Tuku Sanga Mimbu and on a website, or Quangarabutuko Monelonibu or Dalsi, and a website mo around you need Ray the Kedanitu Kiton and Nitu Vandindike, Sindora Kaibuntai, Kito Vandindike, Benduyan, Metapuli, Wulikin, here, and Bunikua, and the Maru Takasar Nitiku Kiken and Nogumarama Weka. O tinei seta, chowa na mona lani. Mena wasi amu na mabikenda na italanoa mepaleta na bingia. Au sana kiri kwa sar mena bamba dalaki. Naka naka na bingia se tiki bumi na na ngau na sembarani ra tando miki nevi tina na bamba lani se ro na kaulotu e atiki tu ni nanda. Non rapa maringe ti voli na luvenda ya lewa. Nanga una sara zuru makina na non rapa mbeka non rapa right of passage. Awiru na luvenda. Sando tukuna tiko ndo ni tukutuku. Me ni sara ngone lewa. Sando randa unge kau merale ingia. Baleta ni ngonga ni nakaira ndo wa maringe ti tukina. Nangone ayurana lubenda nganele ala lai. Asando arakau ngona iso na vanu aratu na kena na ngarani bengia arando kaukina iso na vanu aratu mbeka na mendakila na bikorokor ando taratu so na vale me nonranga na marama se nonranga na dorobo ngona vanu ando ya dokina na na venga ravingo vera na luvenda eh ora non ne le ora lengia eh rengia tirna na marama se era ora na da un bati asengani era soli va vitalia mera merangia na non ne sando otina non rangia dongia ili una tolon ra kusombu um Sautia, Sargendo Colis, Talemaina, Lomanicoro, Sarawa, Tuirana, Tamandra, Tinandra, Nonra Nain, and Bumbu, Merasole, Butaki, Sarangay, Doge Solivera, Nor Mataini Liku, Merandara, Me, and Aliku and Do Kale Leka Tokanga, and Do Umbia Rota Tokangana, Me Umbia Navanue, Angia Vera. Yo atalengando na kena iwa taki la kila ni sa sarangon ay lewa sa karuata le ni bengarabi sa nalaku ay ni na na bangingi molimbe kami nta kaya iyo ay ando na kawa maringeti ay senga ni lakatunga ba vitalia nangon na yah ay si metukuni tumbe ka nangon ni ku ando levo na ka ando romaza ando tukuni tu na kawa si ni si ni Jesus betali tiku kina nak kau mak kau, ya, via awan ini dalam Jesus betali, evan deh tak betali tiku na non tambula, ya orang tak bakatina, eh, ni ruat tiku na lubang gungan elawa, evan deh tak betali tiku na nambula wa mata bumbale na kena maringeti tiku na non gungan elawa. Sendo na toro bole lai na na buketa taki mai na 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 sudo na na wa maringeti mi adobo sara na 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 lewa kawati tale mani teko butale na proses ni ni benga ravi wakati na eh iyo aundo ka ni ndarai lesu ndasi ni ndarai lesu ina bukuni wa ndarai lesu ina ka maringeti mbaleti kenda na kawatuki nak nak Nah, kerana kerana kembali besar tahu, dan orang bawa makan atau toko bawa kau tidak lebih berapa kali ini benda kita minggu, bila waran di faith bola bola, kerana kerana kembali benda saya mesti kau mai kem kaitiku soal nan orang taro, ranyoni utara kau mena nomuni taro, guna wata wata ni buli, guna wata wata ni bila kerana mataki. Kebukaan cukup sebikin ni ni barang cukup macam ni talam nama kau, 
onia ronga zambia kana nomo ni koro se angia zambia kana nomo ni mbumbu se onia ronga zambia kani ando na bengia vaka idore na tu nomo pakasar ni vita mai ni vita tar mai vike to kito ni raise dono kena ngoni salamenta vaka vaka vata kambi bisa ngango me pakasa pamadal tak maya auto chuan enak kena vaka idore na vaka dindi kengo me wasi na itu kutu kau membalai tanah bingkai, kau tu nanya nak kandu, bagai tu rena ngau nama kau, eh? Ia tahu, enak kena dah kena bari taki, dah kena ni linga, enak Saint Paul's Gallery, maya kelandi, oh ni ada kau, ni ada kesat endu nama mas, katukin itu kutu kena Roy ni membalai tanah bingkai, Roy ni bawa medal tak mada, bawa ngiti kau ni bawa, mau ni ada kau endu nanti, tiki ni masih betah meraya, meti tiki ni nomu Zau kena wakar kita kita kata kan di lina na Saint Paul's Gallery na Ronald Dolson kawan. Ah, na nanda tu awalnya banding di keboli suba na mata ini ngau na tu angolikin, aku kira na Ronald Dolson kali membeka. Um, tu ngai rey tu so na winning gear makawa. Tu angge kuteli sale mai na kau sange makawa miu miu ayau na ayau do kes kesa. Aku sangat musukkan na round round go, saya menunggu kani kesa kesa, saya memusukkan na nan roy ini menunggu stencils, saya nampak kau kan tahu ya na stencils. Wow. Iyo, aku sangat endingnya na masih mau kesa waktu na na nan round round kevin go. Ah, yang dua orang nama si na ya saya buru buru tu doh ko, eh cukup kini na ko yang anggo ke cukup kini na na wedding dia. Awang takkan nak kala nan rokam romo romo, ya paling ay cik tali cik orang ni ni bengi yang nangau nama kau, nanon rasudu rasudu na maramati nanda, arangai na zaman kori na na tumrike, arangai lumukina balita na tumrike, eh endo ewanya mati tu. Gaya nang awak naya, nang awak natal dengan aku, eh, bang ata kata itu nganggo, eh, berten rakit lili batal itu nganggo, yo kalandi, ini si landi, iyo, kau eh cikgu kena na, aku sange merah dengan awak na ni, na lebunin masih aku aku make sawa, aku bang ata kata cikgu kena na rokai ambalet tengah, ni do bang deh tak tu, so nak kambalet tengah nang awak na, nang rong awak na bunda. Tetok, tetok apa kau tu? Orang yang pakai sampak talang atau ni, onia talian talang atau naliku? Kalau makreta talian naliku, kau na piu piu, bet kena mangi mangi. Tahu coba onia talian naliku bena wow, bet kena na batinggi. Orang ni bawa masalah tak kemana? Siapa bawa bawa gitu? Kau tahu mo talian dona naliku, bet kena tak kau na na dona kena na batinggi ame tiki ni nomu barat kita kau tanding. Nak ketahu, awak nak numit itu kan? Ni non rangi anak nak lubang dan ngau naya, kau nak numit kena me atali, dua nak kena liku me me bari tak kita lengan, ni kau tak lengan nak kasul ber, ngau nak sarang me bambong iba tak kiki nae. Nangi ya, ayah wa rosusumi aku nak nunggu nai nunggu momo, nunggu momo aku angin do bingi ya. Oh, angin do bingi ya. Gay indon sing ang asang gay barita ko koy via o na na matanggal i voto ni Molly Dava mio na mio nando baro taka patatalek ang nakian na ingi na ingi ni bengia ah balita ni ay utung buda kaya may natau ni ando tukun ni may kandabu na sugar town may ba Oh, masam. Entah betul na, lepun na weka, na weka ikito, na ni tu tata, ni tu momo, arang tu ngito. Ah, bambin bina sokang. Gendol lepun na mawai, arang gendol laku ngan na meiva le me mainggiya na bonu e mawai weira. Um, kau yau sari beti kau meki na 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 weinggiya. Ah, au sabuli zat alengaki na na zakaban na kena ingi, bata kena na ingiya. Iyo, kau mana nak numpak kita mewah barai tak kata lengan na na ciki nangko nangau nanti tu ah barai taki ah nanti tu exhibition kita. 
Hindi, hmm. nice. Totoo. Hmm. Kung ako kalibu, uh, tao na nung wasi ang maya eh, uh, nakikin ang bimbitso ka nakikin ang wasi na itukutuko. Na tara tala mo nung gabi magkareta. Uh, quickly, ma Margaret, just to add in to Tau Chawana's uh, comment about uh, the skirt that you wove made of uh, piu piu and mangi mangi. What inspired you to uh, weave that uh, particular skirt, or liku? <laughs> yes, I worked with the... Uh... So I was inspired by the by the uh, what we saw in the collections, um, not just in Suva Museum, but we also went to Auckland Museum, um, and that's where we uh, you spent a bit of time there, uh, Joanna um, and Tarisi at that, that period. Um, but the idea of uh, using both the Harakeke, uh, which is native to New Zealand, and the Mangi Mangi from from Fiji, uh, was to try and investigate uh what the materials would look like together and how they would work uh more of a reflection of my own identity um mm -hmm. you know and 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 reflecting on on that journey that my my grandparents made in 1975 when they uh, decided to migrate from uh lotoka um and and then you know the rest is history we my dad met my mum but <laughs> the um the idea was to to try and see what that would look like um in in with in line with the idea of what the uh liku uh skirt uh would have represented for our for our young woman and i just want to quickly say to um karen jacobs i received this today yeah. <laughs> so, you know, timing. So just nakabaka baby for this, uh, since sending that from the UK. So I just laughed when it arrived today and I knew we were gonna have a chat. So good timing. Uh, nice. Dr. Karen and uh, Dr. Katrina and the team in uh, Norwich at the uh, Sainsbury Research Unit for your amazing support for lots of the work that we mm. do and to Professor Stephen Hooper uh, for believing in us. So vinaka vinaka vakaleo. So mm. since we're talking about exhibitions, uh, Kai, if I can quickly jump to Taudonita yes. or Sydney, and yes. then uh, we will come no, to you to come to the moment that we're waiting oh. for. I yeah. was going to send you a secret money pussy message. That's a good oh. idea. Connect, connect. Put onto it, onto it. Yeah, onto it. Okay. okay. Now, Tau Donita, would you like to share with us, uh, you know, the the cross uh, across the Tasman uh, connection between Aotearoa and Australia, and the collaborations that we've done? I think uh, um, Margaret has alluded to to it a little bit. So uh, can you just share that uh, part as well? Nakabali buto Chawana for sharing your bit on the Vinkia. Naka. Nakatao. Nakatao. Um, I'll tell a bit of a story uh, as I'm inclined to do. Uh, so as um, Margaret pointed out, us gang and the Australian connection kind of connected with the Vinkia project back in 2015 when we were all at the Contemporary Pacific Arts festival in Melbourne um, and I remember that morning going being invited to a breakfast with the New Zealanders um, and and hearing about Vangir as a practice as well as this uh, creative research project and I remember just being completely stunned it was like what do you mean we had female tattooing in Fiji <laughs> and then it was like what do you mean we had it and we don't know about it anymore because um, I'd like to think I, I was switched on about things because I'm that niece who asks all the questions. <laughs> but what about things? What about that? And, you know, who turns up in the wedding song with a voice recorder saying, can I ask you some questions? Um, so I was completely blown away by the fact that there was this such an important rite of passage that had didn't just stop, but had been like erased from our Tolano from memory. And I think I spent the first few months of being part of the Van Gear project, just being angry. <laughs> I was like, what like, did we not know? This thing is amazing. Um, and so for me, it made me hungry for, for the knowledge that the team was finding and particularly the brain, um, Dulcie, Stuart. Uh, and also um, what it brought to mind was also, you know, what other cultural knowledge are we losing have we lost or losing connection with as women 
Um, and I know that uh, for us in Australia, we was, there was so much work done by our sisters in Aotearoa. Um, those, the, you know, getting the project started, doing all the things, like just making things happen. Um, and we wanted to, I don't know, I suppose in a way it was about reciprocating, like you gang had done so much, so what can we do and what, what would suit an Australian context? And, um, and I remember Shawana and Teresi, I remember hearing about a workshop that, series that you had run in Auckland um, that was about learning. I'm the crier. All the people <laughs> around the world, I am the crier. We got um, you. <laughs> so it was yeah, a workshop <laughs> where um, people, uh, women of Fijian heritage in Auckland could uh, learn about different parts of, of ceremony and their role in it. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, wow, can you imagine if we had something like that here? And um, after the Fiji, the exhibition at the Fiji Museum, we, we developed a relationship with the wonderful Campbelltown Art Centre here in Western Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, we told them about the Van Gear project. We told them that we wanted to be able to do something with uh, women in Western Sydney of Indigenous Fijian heritage. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know what that would look like. And they were like, well, we, we don't know what it could look like either. How about we give you a 10 day residency? Um, and that was such a gift because that gave us time to, to, to dream, to talk a lot. We got different people in, the wonderful um, MC Trey, Thelma Thomas came in for parts of it to kick things around with us. And what came out of that, that generous time was the Ero Yalavata Namarama workshop series yep. and, the, and the seeds of what would become the Maraman dinner exhibition. Mm. So Era Yalavata Namarama was a, a, about a one year project that was 2018 to 2019. So we had a workshop every two months. And the idea about that was um, sharing or reawakening the cultural knowledge that women uh, are the keepers of and so every workshop was led by a, a knowledge holder and mm. also a contemporary female artist of indigenous Fijian heritage uh, so we had um dr t over uh, we had chawana over we had margaret over we had louisa over we also we had um mc trey in the house again with us we had the amazing salata tawala with us driving things along before she ran off to london um and we also had the hilarious um uh, oh, my brain just went blank and she's my auntie. <laughs> auntie Arietta. 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 Hey, 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 <laughs> auntie Arietta, who um, I always thought was from Vanua Level, and then I found out she was Susunga then. She's actually yet another Kaikandabu because they're everywhere. <laughs> because you love us. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we have Auntie there because we know food is important, um, not just as something you eat, but the preparation of food and the sharing of food is very key mm. to Fijian culture. So every workshop was had a structure of, as you arrive, Auntie Arietta would give you jobs to do for preparation of a particular dish. Yes. Um, then it would start cooking. And then when we thought we had everyone, then we would start the workshop about whatever the theme was that day. And at the end of the workshop, we would eat what we had all contributed to making. And, and also people walked out uh, learning a new Fijian dish um, or remembering a new one, I mean, another one. So every workshop we learned how to make something different. Um, awesome. Yeah, it was great. There was one though that I remember Auntie Aretha teaching everyone how to make, I think it was galu, and she was like, and you use this, you use everyone do that. And then we started the workshop and then she was like, don't tell them, this is the secret ingredient in my recipe. And so she, she added the secret ingredient, I can't tell you, she will kill me. Um, and I just thought that was hilarious too, like she has her own knowledge that she was keeping. <laughs> 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 That workshop series was amazing. It was targeted at women who live in Western Sydney of Indigenous Fijian heritage. Uh, we did a tester with um, Dr. T. I always tell this story uh, and about learning how to layer the mats. Because mm -hmm. for a lot of us who were um, first generationers, 
We just know you layer until the aunties yell and then you relayer until they stop yelling. <laughs> we didn't know what the layers meant. Um, and so over a weekend, we learned how to do that. And um, my cousins came along, Chrissy and Meme, and their mum, their, their mums, um, their mum and the twin sister came along. And when they first arrived, I remember Auntie Sarah was saying, Ido, uh, we're here today, but we can't come tomorrow. We are busy. But, you know, we're here today. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, I'm so glad you were here. Thank you. And then the workshop got underway. Dr. T started talking. She started, you know, sort of inviting questions from people and also saying, oh, hey, Arieta, do you know about what, what's your contribution? And asking the twins, you know, from Yasawa, tell me some things. And they started um, pulling on this information that had been hidden away. And when we had a break for tea, I remember Auntie said, we're coming go, it, tomorrow when we come, we're going to do you know, <laughs> sasa that you use for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, so you guys are coming back. And we learned something that day. Because we thought, oh, yeah, this is all going to be for, you know, gang like us who were born in another, another country and want to relearn. And what we found out was that the workshop series oh, was going to be. <laughs> it's fine. For our older women, our knowledge holders who mm. have here so long or lived in whatever diaspora so long mm. that the, this rich knowledge they had had been sort of you know packed away in the back yeah. Um, yeah and they said as much to us they were like wow we forgot we knew that yeah um, or the classic auntie arietta one of, was <laughs> i didn't know this was important we were like mm. oh my god you didn't know so much we you know we want to reach in your head and pull it all out so mm. the workshop series was amazing for connecting with um, other women around Western Sydney of Indigenous Fijian heritage of mm. all ages. Um, we originally said, oh, don't bring children. We, <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had children who attended every time. We also two dozens babies. arrived. <laughs> yeah. Two babies who came through that process as well, who, um, who attended every workshop and are now out in the world. Um, <laughs> and one workshop, we had a, a Kafalangi woman came up with some little girls and I was like, it's like, hey, guys, I'll handle this. And I was like, hi, how are you? And she's like, oh, hello. These are my daughters. They're, um, they're Kaira. So their dad's from Russia. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm Vasun Nandranga. And she, the Kavalangi blonde lady turns to her girls and goes, girls, don't believe anything this lady tells you. <laughs> you know, the double connection. I was like, all right, she's in the right to, yeah, come in, come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was an amazing experience. What we learned one of the things that we pulled from that that fed into what would become Maram and Dina was that something that's really important is about that the experience of being Fijian when you don't live in Fiji. Mm. The experience of being Fijian in the diaspora, wherever your diaspora is. Um, and again, we worked with Campbelltown Art Centre and we were able to pull together the, develop the Maram and Dina exhibition where and we were able to expand it we had 10 fem contemporary female artists of indigenous Fijian heritage who were commissioned by Campbelltown to um, create works for a, it was a huge exhibition when we were coming up with the idea Solote, Dulcie and I were like you know it'd be great great if we could just take over the whole the whole gallery <laughs> we, were like, we can't put that in the in the pitch to Campbelltown and when we delivered the pitch the director Michael D'Agostino uh, was responding to him he's like you know what you guys should just take over the whole gallery I'm like yes, yes. <laughs> that's what we were going to do anyway um <laughs> but uh you know we also were uh very we worked really hard to secure funding from the Australia Council for the Arts for the workshop series and then for the exhibition and it meant for Maram and Dinner we could work with an incredible group of of women, um, and as Margaret said in um, in what she was speaking about earlier, that the Van Gier project isn't for us; it's mm. for us and so much more. And it's, it is very much this thing that keeps growing. And as Margaret said, it is infinite. Um, you know, and I I hope that you know that I you know when I step aside and do other things, there's going to be other people who are going to be out there taking the energy um, of mm. the Bangia project forward. And mm. so in 2019, we had Mram and Dinner 
it was um, a groundbreaking exhibition that hasn't been an exhibition that is entirely in Australia made up entirely of female artists of Indigenous Fijian heritage. Um, mm. And it was massive. Mm. 10 artists we took over the whole place. We built a bloody Werani Songo in there, uh, Bali Nisongo, <laughs> for people who don't speak Western, um, and had the biggest public art, the biggest public program attached to it that Campbelltown had ever hosted before. Mm. Uh, so we had reasons for people to keep coming back and to be to join us in the Werani Songo to hear um, Talanoa, to watch films. And we had an amazing experience, which I can't remember what session was, but there was an older lady who came. She had flown up from Melbourne to mm. come. And she she told us about she had seen winning gear on one of her relatives um and didn't quite understand but yeah and she Dulcie and I were there we cried like babies because she cried because she was like I have waited all my life for something like this and to be able to say we were like what and she (laughs) flew up another another two weekends because Mm -hmm. you know what was created by us as artists but also the the community we had grown through was so special, mm. um, so warm. And also our relationship with Campbelltown Art Centre, they were like, they're like family to us now. Um, so the whole thing was just uh, so warm, so connected, and I guess in a way kind of reflects the, the importance and the vitality of the practice of Vengia mm. and the role it, it had, you know, as a rite of passage Mm. Um, and of something to be be proud of mm. uh, and that was another thing for us um, with this the Sydney things was about reclaiming things and being proud of them like forget what the what colonization did of trying to make us ashamed of trying to wipe it out because it didn't bloody work <laughs> so <laughs> let's reclaim it and be proud of it and one other thing I'll add is um Dr. T said something um, right at the beginning and then was repeated in every workshop that we held was was that um, the role of women in ceremony is vital and that women in Fijian ceremony, women drive ceremony and that actually there is no ceremony if you don't have the women. Um, And that was just everything. Like, Like, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah mm. so that was like the sydney connection and it was just amazing and with the van Gier family is so is so much bigger now um for the work people and not big be- people hear things from us and then they pass it on to other people and you know we had a the girls from two brown girls the podcast did a live podcast yeah. where they um, and so, like all these people who come from different types of backgrounds, they all know what Vangir is now. They don't have to go through what I did in 2015 or what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> they're all hearing about it and they're loving it and embracing it. You know, and Julia Mangiao Gray, who's marked a number of us, you know, she tells us she gets requests all the time from Fijian women who want to have women gear on their bodies. Like they know what it is and they want it. <laughs> You know, like, that's just so exciting. Um, yes. So I shall stop now. That is my talanora about the... Uh, <laughs> such a beautiful uh, uh, way of uh, going down memory lane. Uh, mm. Definitely. I still remember Auntie Arietta, you know, cooking in the, in the theater space. And uh, I think she wasn't expecting me to be including her in the conversation because, uh, you know, I have my own way of like, oh, so what do you think? And then the conversation <laughs> kept going. And even the two aunties who were sitting on the side, they didn't realize they were part of the conversation. And that was really amazing. Because um, I remember Auntie Arietta, one time she avoided me. She knew that I was going to ask and she turned her back and started saying, and then I kept persisting. And then uh, she ended up, I think while she was stirring the pot, she was thinking, mm. she was thinking. And then she looked and she said, I remembered. 
and then she started talking. So mm. it's really nice hey, when it comes to this kind of uh, heritage stories is, you know, remembering, um, yeah. you know, uh, reconnecting all mm. those beautiful words hey, that we can use, like reviving the knowledge. I think mm. that was key in 2015, yeah, without trip to yeah. Fiji. Was and it reminds goal. me of all those connections from FNU when we, we went to FNU and we had the same response when one of the, um, the ladies, you know, we started hearing that, that repetition around uh, seeing the marks, eh? seeing the marks and not being allowed to ask um, <laughs> and not being allowed to talk about it, but that surfacing of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what it is. So it's been quite a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, continued response as we go from place to place to place to place. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tarisi. I was just yeah. reflecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Using that word there, our word there, mm -hmm. remembering, reflecting, reconnecting, and mm -hmm. uh, the re revival of the knowledge. Yeah? Uh, mm -hmm. Really, really true. And I think going back to uh, uh, you know, when you remember the comment I mentioned, or mentioned way back four years ago was the role of women eh? and the time in Amaram. And mm -hmm. though to me okay, too, Amaram and the Bagari Rivinakana song. The mm -hmm. women we make the, the ceremony look good because of the weaving. Na kesa kesa na kaker kele rivinakanturanga na wukunda na maram. So to amen. Uh, <laughs> you know and that's kind of uh, through this project is kind of uh, you know highlighting the important roles of, of women. I mm. think people knew about it. It's kind of somewhere at the back of their minds or mm. back of their head. But then mm. these projects that we were doing was kind of bring it forward. Eh? Mm. bring it forward and uh, the things that we were doing was like yeah yeah we are important okay we're going to do this yeah mm -hmm. we are yeah we are important we're going to showcase this and yeah. so it's kind of like permanent in front of us and and it was lovely too when i had a phone call i think i told you ladies two years ago a girl from natambo high school yes. um she was like uh, 16 years old she went to town and bought a phone card i told her i will call you or we speak on messenger she said no uh, madam I will call you. <laughs> and she bought a phone card just to interview me. That was so moving. Uh, she chose the topic of Vengia for her group in Natambua High School. Mm -hmm. So for uh, anyone from Natambua listening in, we just want to acknowledge the, uh, you know, this work that we are doing is also, um, you know, uh, entering the various layers of society, particularly our young mm -hmm. girls who are who have the courage now to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I think that's an important word. Eh? Courage. But I think that's important word. Now we are empowering our girls to ask questions and reminding our girls you have every right to ask any question. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the Princess of Yahweh. Um, What's up to uh, Princess of Yahweh? <laughs> Princess of Yahweh number two? <laughs> number two, Junior, Junior. <laughs> Luisa, so uh, Kai, if you can just uh, share with us this uh, mm. your residency that you are part okay. of. Congratulations, by the way, uh, Luisa, for uh, successfully um, you know being awarded the residency uh, in Cain Christchurch and acknowledging uh, Professor Stephen Rotuba and his team mm. uh, in Christchurch. So, can you just share your talano with us as to how you got the residency and what's happening down there in Christchurch? Okay, Nakai and Nak everybody, because as much as I'm here, I'm here leading it on behalf of us. So it's actually our residency, <laughs> just saying. But um, thank you very much for your support. It took uh, a while to convince myself and I always want to acknowledge Dr. Teresia Tewa for making me promise to apply for it. So it took me a while, but it finally came to it. And when I did, it made absolute sense that it would be around the project and the work that we were doing. So I've been here since mid-August and I'm here to the end of October with my partner, Molly Rangwe Mikhail. Um, and we, the show is called Ilak Lak Nguyeningia, um, the, or the journey of the, the Nguyeningia. The, the, as the 
Weka Joanna was explaining the footprints following the journey of mm. and so it's it's about our collective journey um I think that some people expected that I would be showing our film about going to Kia but we can talk about this shortly uh but I explained that this was an opportunity we've um, we've shown and collaborated with different people but we've never actually made a collective show together so I thought I'd love that all of us are represented there's um <laughs> The starting with the Vudu, the beautiful Vudu written by our, our wonderful Weka Choana and uh, Navengi Metalnoa. Um, we also have uh, three beautiful Matakal carved by Margaret and uh, some uh, vinyl print in the show done by Dalsi Stewart called Manuman Vuka. And then there's a short film there um, which shows part of our journey to Kia. And now every time I think of the years, I'm like, was that 2019? It seems, <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> just like, I'm, just like, I'm so sorry. It's so important. But I was like, it just seems like it was a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. But we've, if you don't already know, we have documented everything since day dot. So we have... <laughs> Where so all these were. six years we've been talking about, we've been taking photos of everything and filming everything. <laughs> so there's all this footage. Um, and it's amazing going through it to see them the just the breadth of work that we have done in this this mm -hmm. amount of time. Um, I don't, you know, when we're just sitting here tonight talking about it, then we realize we've come a long way, but we've also done a lot of work. Um, but in regards to the show, it's on at the physics room um, in the city in Ototahi in Christchurch, and it's open until the 31st of October. Um, I recently um, spoke with some children, some young Fijian children for Fijian Language Week. They came in with the group Vakaviti um, Ototahi, and it was wonderful to see them in the gallery and um, and engage to see them engaging with, with everything. They were between the ages of five and 15, they came in two different groups. So the younger ones, of course, made all the noise, but they were very engaged. And the, and the older ones were, were quietly considering things that uh, we were sharing with them that day. And uh, so I was just saying, I have a, a couple more seminars coming up. One is with them. Um, the Macmillan Brown students tomorrow, I think that's uh, limited numbers, but there will be a public one and that'll be probably announced later. But another thing that um, I've been speaking with these Vakaviti uh, Otatahi ladies again, is that like to, we'd like to have a session just for Fijian, indigenous Fijian women to attend. Um, we can have it in the gallery and it's just something that, that gathering of us together sometimes gives us the opportunity to one, come into a gallery um, together because it can be quite daunting. Mm -hmm. I think as artists, we've uh, grown quite accustomed to galleries now, but that's not everyone's space. So we'd like to invite them in and to see like, that's us in there, so please come in. But the other thing is when we come together and um, I think women, we there's a different vibe if you like but mm -hmm. we want to create a safe space where you can ask questions without being seen, you know, outside. It's just like, so we would like to create that space. And so that's something um, we might do in, in the coming weeks. But um, in the meantime, while I'm here, I just wanted to just um, to remind you that we are updating the website more regularly. Thank you, Dulcie, you're a star. And yeah. so um, the photos are on our Facebook, and all our other social media, Instagram, Twitter. And for those who can't make it to Ototahi, we are sharing photos from the show. And um, the further along we go, um, we'll be working on the script. Okay, uh, Teresi, do you want to talk about Kia? I thought I'd leave it to you, it was up to you. Because I, I haven't got to that stage yet. Maybe you want to talk to the group instead and that'll be enough for me about the residency. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, we like to Levo Kai Luisa for uh, yeah, representing us down there, and it's lovely to see all the activities uh, in the mm -hmm. galleries and in especially for our little ones, uh, yes. coming in and engaging 
um, with the show. So it's, I think that's actually one of the, um, I think the aim of the project as what Makareta said uh, very clearly as well as Tauchawana and Tauchawana mm. Donita is the sharing. Yeah, I think that's yes. the key. I think yeah. we, uh, one thing I really admire about this collective is that there's no gatekeeping here. Eh? No. Uh, no. There's no gatekeeping. The information, the research we we find. So for those of you who are just joining us uh, recently and uh, who just kind of getting to know uh, the work that we do. So um, as what has been mentioned, especially with the work that Dalsi does online. So all the information that you want to know about Venga is all available. So mm. you can go on the website, Venga, is it Venga.com? Vengearproject.com. Vengearproject.com, eh? Mm -hmm. Right. So lots of yeah. uh, young ones are using it. And it's lovely to also see the newspaper article by Fiji Times, mm. uh, Venge yeah. Project, and lots <laughs> of other uh, you know, books and journal articles. So it's really good to see that it's you know, making its way, uh, mm. not just for us, but for everybody. Yeah. Um, I have a question for Tauchawana, which is connected to uh, Christchurch, about the voodoo. Mm. Because it was a, a very special uh, contribution um, that you made uh, Tauchawana for, for all of us, uh, you know, to be part of. Uh, yeah. I have lots of memories of uh, singing it with you. Uh, I know you have, uh, your voice is better than mine. Uh, that's <laughs> so uh, Tauchawana, would you like just to share to everyone who's listening in about uh, what inspired you uh, to write that beautiful word? Or the child. Um, uh, sorry, I'm going to speak in uh, Kandavuan. <laughs> um, it was our first trip to Fiji when I um, started to think about the wudu when we made it to where the Itoke um, language and cultural office there. Uh, mm. Yeah funny place up the steps <laughs> we were going and um, I keep hearing this tune in my head so I started to just started to write down the words I think mm. that first trip um, mm. was very inspiring because mm. uh, it was um, awakening something it was reconnecting all of us back to Fiji eh? back to the Vanua um, yeah, that's that's where the the birth of the voodoo came from. When I was um, when we went to visit um, the Itoke Cultural and uh, Language Office, um, yeah, just uh, the whole trip just inspired me into putting different words into the the, the chant. Um, <clears throat> And then when we made it to Kia, uh, there's an extended uh, extension of uh, the Wudu as well. Uh, so there'll be new words for us to learn yes. as a collective. So to come back to you, Luisa, how's mm. the sound like in the gallery with the Wudu mm. playing? It's beautiful. It is so stunning. I think that everyone who hasn't seen the show and is able to go should go and stand in it because it's one thing I was telling you, but just to hear it and because of the, the pace of it, it's, it really envelops you when you walk into the gallery and it's really lovely. And that combined with the color, the nawa nawa on the wall and Margaret's beautiful matakao, I think that it's a, a beautiful offering and, um, and you really need to sit amongst it if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. But um, if I may, while we're talking about the show, there was something that I wanted to mention, if it's all right. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, Julia, we were talking about it. Julia has, uh, I asked her before, uh, we were doing some presentations and I asked her, oh, I was interviewed and they asked me how many Fijian women have been marked. And so I asked Julia and I, I estimated, I said, oh, about 30? So I asked Julia and Julia did a quick count and she's like, more like 50. And I was like, oh. yeah, so 50 women and some women are about three or at least four that we know of. Anyone can still put their hand up at any point if they want to. But um, <laughs> I have well, I started also picking up the tools. Mm -hmm. So this is part of the Talanoa that, that's going now. But the thing that I, I also wanted to add to that is uh, seven, uh, well, a couple of women lent us uh, very kindly and graciously lent us their images 
of their mm. winning gear. And I would just like to acknowledge them. We always do that every time we collaborate with any of the women, if you recall. So if so, right, I'll just like to name them and acknowledge them to thank them for, for their kindness. Mm. So um, Tangi Ngolovaki from Lao Ndrewa, Dalsi Stewart, Vasumbua, Lucia Monolangi Tailevo, Seta Monolangi Tailevo, Emmeline Pickering Martin of Ma, Tale Jackson and Liz Jackson of Thai Level. I didn't realize so many people were from Thai Level were on this list. <laughs> but Liz and Tale Jackson, Jara Wasasala from Madhuata and Ba, um, and my niece, Hosanna Kamkor, who's from uh, Natewa in Vnolevu, in Vno Levu, sorry. So I just wanted to acknowledge them. They were very kind um, to share their, the images yeah. of their marks with us. Naka ladies, Naka. <laughs> Oh, I was just gonna, we had a question um in the comments from Sunguta here in Western Sydney. Oh yes, can you read it down? She was wondering if we if like we could hear more about the voodoo. And so I was thinking um mm. the Chawana, maybe if you could relate the story that um that is captured within the voodoo, maybe. Mm. Sorry, um the Firstly, I owe you an apology regarding the voodoo because I was supposed to send it to you to get the ladies <laughs> to sing it. Yes, because of all the what's going on in the world, um, yeah. yeah, we didn't get to uh, connect. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, yes, the voodoo uh, is talking about um, what the girls went through back in the day, um, the sacredness of it the importance of it, how they were nurtured. It wasn't just a thing that happened. It was um, a sacred um, ritual that took place to honor our girls, uh, them coming of age, going through um, the tattooing when they reached uh, puberty. Um, it wasn't a cosmetic thing. Mm. It was um, something of culture and heritage and very significant to us as women um, of the Vanua back in those days. And the Wudu is, is talking about all that. Mm -hmm. And all of us that are doing the, um, uh, the research. research. And this is yeah. what we are finding. And we sang it for the first time at St. Paul's together. Yeah. And for the my family, my aunties, um, it, it, um, they got really emotional because mm -hmm. they, they were taken into the story. Yeah. And they got emotional about thinking about the girls crying uh, because of the pain. Yeah. And um, that's the, I think that's the power of our chants. Um, as they act, they act like con the conjure the storytelling comes yeah. forward, <laughs> and uh, I, I remember just thinking, wow, how how wonderful it is to have you, Joanna, um, yeah. to be able to to share that you know that Thank song because really. yes. I think it must be one of like a new like I don't mm. know if there's any other contemporary you know mm. offering of that talks a, a vuvu that talks about Bengia yeah I yeah, have uh, in this yeah. time yeah. It's um it's like a wailing type mm. of voodoo. Eh? It's um you're getting <coughs> I'm just getting emotional now. <laughs> you getting you it's an emotional um way to sing it because you feel it feels like you're walking in their shoes. Mm. Yeah, and mm. it's not something. Uh, it's always been there. Louis, uh, Lulu, you said it well. Uh, it's always been there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, asleep, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've yeah. come along and just woke them up. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. wonderful. Every time I, I <clears throat> sing it, we sing it at different places. It, I feel like we get stronger. Mm -hmm. Something. It's like we're, there's, sometimes there's a big flurry of of logistics and mm -hmm. you know the, so mm -hmm. doing all these sorts of things and then we come together and just in that still moment we all sing in one voice and it's just like and I'm back mm -hmm. in my fields okay mm -hmm. you know <laughs> but, <laughs> you never and, and really get true. used yeah. to it you know like you sing it again and each time it's like oh 
Yeah. <laughs> I remember I when it. we were trying to do the recording at the oh, Fiji yeah. Museum, we did so many yes, tapes. Right. <laughs> and I was the one who was the worst one as Donita. You know, I, have keep, I have to keep wiping my tears. I remember, yeah, we had to have the leads. Yeah, I oh, tuned it, then as soon as I tune it, eh? yeah. and then I start crying. And then I like, oh, the one is going like this. <laughs> no, and, and, and when it was played on the, yeah. the veranda that night, yeah. and we had um the dance the dance um the vol, crew. Vol dance. yeah vol dance and the lightning was going <laughs> and it was pouring but it, the sound reverberated across yeah and thunder was rolling and it was magic i mean i remember uh saying to my partner oh i got i i did, I did it was it was like what are that when the lightning those that lightning was going it was like you didn't want to look too closely into yeah. the dark because she got <laughs> something tree. back. Looking back. Yeah, be careful. You look back, they'll be looking back at you. Like... Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that, Absolutely. That, that's beautiful. That, that yeah. So, Naka yeah. Joanna. Yeah. Naka yeah. Joanna. Yeah. Very, yeah. very special. Yeah. So, for uh, Bulo, and there's a few others who are requesting for us to sing, uh, we <laughs> might have a, a different uh, session just for singing so we can train our throats one more time. <laughs> Uh, and have with... rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vinaka, Vinaka. Thank you so much, everybody listening in. Uh, there's a few here uh, connecting in from Dubai, <clears throat> Nakavaka Levu from England, Nakavaka Levu Sarah. Um, Bulo Sumut, she's still asking for us to sing. Lovely lady, she's very persistent. Tau Chowana, she's from Kandab, by the way. <laughs> Surrounded. Well, well, maybe that's something we love it. do. And, and try to put it on the website. Maybe that's something yeah. that mm. see. We'll try and yes. put a sound bite oh. on the website. So yeah, eh? so yeah. To, in below, so here we will put up the song, the chant in the um, uh, on the website because our voice, uh, this is a uh, Matilita Rongong from Nanronga uh, yeah, making a special request. Tao Matilita, our voice is too precious for this platform. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking for the Kandavu, Kandavu ones to sing it. Okay, I'm going to sing it just for your ears only. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, to everyone connecting in. It's such a, a beautiful way to connect to everyone and sharing our story. And uh, this is not the only time we will be together like this. We'll try and look for other opportunities eh? uh, to come and tell us more. And I'm so glad that uh, Fijian Language Week is taking place around the world. And... Um, <laughs> And also just in time for Luisa to be in uh, um, Christchurch as part of a residency with the University of Canterbury and the Macmillan Brown Center uh, sponsored by Creative New Zealand. So just really want to acknowledge all the, um, the support over the years. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, also in Fiji, the Fiji Museum, the Itoke uh, mm -hmm. Department of uh, Ministry of Itoke Affairs, uh, mm -hmm. who've really supported us. Uh, I think it was uh, Mrs. Emi Mbanimarama, um, Bulouna Manulev from the, and Dr. Polonieta Mata from the Tokay Trust Fund. Yeah, yeah. just the support there yeah, was just uh, amazing. And this is a wonderful way to um, share uh, the knowledge with everybody, as we've been saying, uh, the words remembering, reconnecting, reawakening, um, and revival. Yeah, so it's all those beautiful words all woven together. Okay, so before we conclude our Talanoa, uh, I'll just go around the room and uh, just ask each of you uh, any one last uh, beautiful comment or vakavini uh, vinaka if you want to thank someone or anything you want to say, this is the opportunity. Uh, maybe we'll go to Australia because she's very far away. Um, <laughs> And she's from Nandronga, so we'll start with her first. Oh, I should go first. <laughs> oh. Love it. Uh, thank you so much, Tao, for um, having me here tonight. And it's been wonderful to see my sister's faces again. It's been a long time. Um, oh. The big thing for me, and we touched on it, everyone spoke about it, um, very much about sharing the knowledge and encouraging our daughters to to ask the questions 
Um, and if we don't have the answers, encouraging our daughters to, to connect with the people who can. Um, and for us to very much about de-shaming our histories. We have such a sophisticated, wonderful culture. Mm. Beautiful. Naka. And thank you everyone for who tuned in tonight. Yeah. Even the kai kana will be Yes, we'll have to do the head count. Anyone from Kandava, put your hand up. All of them. Okay. Oh, I don't have any kaira. Sorry, I forgot to say something. I love to the kaira. Yeah, there's some sprinkles, sprinkles of Nandronga and Ra in the audience too. So that's nice. Um, and then uh, now over to you, uh, uh, Luisa. Uh, okay. Any uh, comments or anything you want to say? Nak. Um. Thank you very much for having us on the show tonight, Kai. Um, I know you're always very busy and I'm pretty sure that you probably have other things lined up. Do you ever sleep? But it's lovely <laughs> to see all your faces, my lovely sisters. I hope you have a, a happy Fijian language week at, in your own homes and everyone who's listening in. I also do, like to just do a quick shout out to the physical room who's been so, uh, been really warm and generous hosts um, to Abby and her team. Uh, as well as uh, Professor Steve and his team. Um, but what is the thing? Oh, yes. To follow on from my Tao, I love she said it so beautifully, but I guess that the thing is, um, because even though we're doing all the talking, we aren't the experts either. The mm. experts live in your house. The first library lives in your house. Mm. So <laughs> if, if you don't get it from your library, then come to us. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the library is not sure but but don't forget that you um you're so blessed if you live with your family that uh mm -hmm. that they're they're as valuable a resource as any mm -hmm. if not better Naka, like, very, Naka, very very good point Naka, yeah encouraging uh our young ones to ask questions and never be afraid to ask any questions? Um, and again, as you said, you really, really true to Kai for um, you know asking questions and recording our stories yeah, within mm, our homes. Yes. In yeah. That's a good yeah. reminder. So over yeah. to you, uh, Makareta, if you would like to say something uh, as well, uh, Maggie. Yo. I just want to, yeah, express my uh, gratitude for tonight, uh, Tarisi. Uh, you always have, um, you know, you're never far from my thoughts as one of our, you know, very important leaders um, as well, and bringing us together always. Um, just want to, yeah, I think reflecting on my role in um, the project, we all have very personal relationships to the project. And I think that for those that are looking uh, for their connection um, and, and back uh, to Fiji, um, like Lulu said, ask your family, ask your friends, don't be afraid to do that. Um, also to our women, you know, encourage, I encourage you to not be afraid to be marked if that is what you want to do. Um, read up, learn, learn a bit more about it. But, um, you know, don't be afraid for that to happen. And also, not just for our women, our men, you know, encourage that in the house for our young girls to grow up with the courage to be able to express themselves on their skin um, and their language um, and dance, whatever, whatever it is. But um, anyone that is uh, interested in picking up the tools, you know, uh, this is a message that I've consistently tried to share, is not to be afraid, not to be afraid to give it a go uh, and learn more about the tools. Find, find people that can help you learn more, learn more about them. Mm -hmm. So, um, and always, always remember that the museum and all those places have magnificent clues about who we are. Yeah, museum and also acknowledging Dalsi, yeah, Dalsi still for all the work that she does. She's been busy putting up the links as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
So for anybody listening in who are trying to do research, this information already there on our website and uh, we're also available um, you know, online. You can reach out to any of us. Uh, and then to our uh, Marama Lebu, uh, we'll give you the floor Thank to you. officially close our <laughs> session today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Thank you, Teresi, for tonight uh, bringing the girls together um, for us to come and have a little Talanoa uh, on your platform. Um, <clears throat> just my um, word of advice to our young girls, um, thinking about having a, a tattoo done, uh, don't run off so quickly to the tattooing parlor and get a, mm. uh, any old marking done. Mm. Um, I would go back home and um, mm. if you still have your grandparents living, please sit down with pen and paper and talk to them and ask them questions. For us as Fijians, we need to know uh, how many totems belongs to me as a, as a Fijian person. Um, one, we could have seven, some people have more. Uh, when I say totem, you're looking at your, your koro, your matangali, your yavusa, and it yeah. goes right down to your manu manu, your fish, your, uh, even your mountain or tree. Yeah. Yeah? Um, put all that in order. And then when, if you still want to go and have markings done, then look at your family tree. And if you come from a, um, a tribe, a warrior tribe, uh, ask your family what kind of weapons did they use yeah. so that can be one of the markings mm -hmm. you would and it's a wonderful thing to carry your family marking on your body on your skin you know yeah. it's nothing um yeah it's just wonderful it's different um <clears throat> that that's my word of advice to uh, our young people because if you run to the 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 closest tattooing parlor, it's uh, not as um, mm -hmm. BMB significant, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it'll become just like a um, cosmetic skin mm -hmm. or stamp on your body. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yes, um, do have a talano with your loved ones. Vinaka. Mm -hmm. Marama, <laughs> Hume. Sama sahaja cukup di Sydney, abik kimi ni kena sama cukup di Australia, abik nak bawa kelibun sama mai, sama telangan wilayah itu kena dal sistiwat, abak orang tercungam minggu, ker total na boleh mana lewat do bintok pun bawa kelibu, ena perak ramungo. Saku angan nak kena lebu, abik nak bawa kelibu, and these people are still listening and still waiting. Abik nak bawa kelibu, abik nak bawa kelibu, if from if from nak bawa. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> 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 more than, more than, more than. Bye, All the best, Luisa. Yes, I was going to Langkain dua ni na buat na website eh, mungkin rongo tu nak kiri rongo rong. Nak kembali bikin domi Dubai, England. Good morning, Miriam Spraki, Dr Karen Jacobs, Dr Katrina Inglesden. Bikin tu kiri. Thank you for joining in. Hong Kong, ni how? Tasha Doria Kula, Malam Bula. Bina kembali bukan siapa mai. Ropatin Rossi boleh bina kembali.
Rivangu Winuelela, Don Bula may be sorry. Naka Vinaka lives on the same of my ni more than ni more than Naka more than Dalsi, more than Macareta, more than Donita, Salotawale, and everyone more than Manta. Mother.